Happy New Year, Event Rockstars. Here we are, 2018, and welcome to a special edition of Run of Show Weekly. My name's Ben, I'll be your host, and we are going to walk through the results of a survey that we sent out in December asking our users what their top stressors were in 2017 and counter to that what their top New Year's resolutions were in 2018. And so if you are thinking about your 2018 event program, listen up, I'm going to talk about the three resolutions that I found most interesting. New Year's resolution numero uno. I love this one. This is my news resolution for about the past 15 years. It is that I am going to come in under budget this year. Under budget, right? We're all doing this. We're all going to make this resolution come in under budget. Now, when we got this, that many of you plan to come in under budget, of course we had to uh, follow up with a question, how in the world are you going to do it? And your responses were, were useful, were illustrative. Uh, many of you said that you were going to make sure to stop underestimating and stop omitting. The most commonly underestimated budgeting items, catering and AV. That makes a lot of sense. Stop underestimating AV, it costs a lot of money, pay for it. The most omitted items were gratuity, tax, the notorious plus plus, and printing. I thought that was interesting. A lot of people forgot to budget for printing in 2017. Don't forget about that. Okay, let's move on. New Year's resolution number two. In 2018, we are going to ask our venues the right questions, the right questions. Now, what does that mean, we asked? This meant that you were planning to make sure, make sure when you're speaking to venues, you're going to ask them about the layout limitations, the capabilities, and the restrictions. Okay, so layout limitations, how big, where can I put people, where are the, e the egress, uh, where are the, the, the exits, where are the entrances, what do I need to know about your venue? Capabilities, what are your AV? Do you have water? Do you have heat? Um, what is included in this package and more importantly, what is not included? Can I ship things there in advance, etc.? And last but not least, restrictions. Fire restrictions, dietary restrictions, sound ordinances. Ask all those questions. And number three was interesting. It was actually tied to the number one stressor of 2017, which was invitations. Communications around the event stressed you out the most. And I get it, I'm sorry. It's tough, it can be very tough. And so many of you said that you were going to button up your invitation process in 2018. A noble resolution. But how are you gonna do that? Now, when asked, many of you said that you were gonna make sure to copy edit more thoroughly, that you were gonna make sure that before you sent that invitation out that you really had your list segmented. Those are great ideas. But I wanna offer one more thing. As you think about your invitation process next year, don't just think about that invitation process. Think about the confirmation process. We've noticed that the confirmation emails that you are sending out are actually the most clicked upon emails that you'll send out in the entire event life cycle. It's around two and a half times that those emails are opened on the, on the time that the, the, the recipient gets it, uh, the day of the event, and often on their way to the event, they'll actually open up that confirmation email. What I mean to say is this is a really impactful and important moment for you to focus on and to really button up. So it's not just that invitations, but also the confirmation emails I'd love for you to focus on. So those are the three. Before I leave, I have a couple seconds, so I want to include this one. Everybody, pretty much everybody said that in 2018, you got it, they're going to be thinking about what adapters and what power cords they're going to be bringing with them to every single event. It sounds like we had some headaches around power and AV in 2017. Okay, those are the top four New Year's resolutions of 2018. And uh, I just want to thank everyone for checking us out in 2017. It's been a heck of a year with Run of Show Weekly. We've, we've thrown a lot of content out there. If you haven't seen any of the episodes, go check out a couple of them. I promise you'll find some value. And uh, make sure to tune in. We have a lot of great content coming in 2018. So thanks again, guys, and uh, Happy New Year to everyone out there. Craving more event content? If so, subscribe below and you can check out more episodes of Run Up Show Weekly.